With the spotlight constantly upon them, poker pros are widely expected to become ambassadors of the game and to adopt perfect behaviour. But can we really expect that from people who choose to make a living playing cards? If you want to know what you are not supposed to do at a poker table, just watch these pros. One of the first things you learn as a player is to not comment on a hand you are not involved in. Another simple etiquette rule is to not make fun of another player's misery. Losing money is painful and having someone needling you is unnecessary. In the 2006 Tournament of Champions, Daniel Negreanu witnessed an insane hero call from Mike Sexton against Mike the Mouth Matisau. Sexton just with a pair of threes, essentially he can only beat a bluff. Sexton makes the call! Nice! Sexton decided to silently take his chips, but Negreanu felt obliged to comment about how dirty the hand was. Sexton shows the threes! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Hey, you just got owned real bad there. Oh, dish, dish, dish. That was dirty. Mike, that was dirty. Dish, dish, dish. Beat him in the pot with two threes. You got to swallow. He can't swallow after that one. But this apparently wasn't enough, and Negreanu continued commentating on the hand that he wasn't involved in for nearly 30 seconds. Come on, give it up. They had you there. <laughs> he had you pegged right there. Yeah, he had me pegged. I didn't have anything. <laughs> well, you, you didn't. Negreanu has always wanted to be a role model, but sometimes actions speak louder than words. Sexton ended up defeating Negreanu heads up and gave half his winnings to charity. Phil Hellmuth, aka Poker Brat, has always been more than well known for whining and complaining when a hand doesn't go his way. While some players silently question the quality of their own play after an unfavourable outcome, Phil Helmuth's way is to loudly berate his opponent for playing badly and blame bad luck. While Helmuth's childish behaviour often brings laughter from the pros he is facing, when he starts to rip into amateurs, his behaviour becomes more questionable. One simple rule for any poker player is, don't tap the aquarium. Don't remove the fun from the game if you want amateurs to keep losing money to you. This is a rule which completely escapes Helmuth in this clip from the WSOP main event. When the amateur builds a big pot with 10-4 and outdraws Helmuth's ace-king, the 14-time bracelet winner can't resist telling him five times that he is an idiot and that he doesn't like the way he plays. I'm an idiot. Buddy, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Four times. Did you see what this idiot just did? Five. The amateur ended up putting an end to the verbal circus by reminding Helmuth that he paid his buy-in, unlike him and could play however he wanted. It cost me, you know, it cost me like 10 grand to get in this tournament. It cost you nothing. So just leave me, blow away my 10,000, okay? Okay? He's right. Purely a product of the online poker generation, Daniel Cates has always created special attention around himself at the live poker table. His tendency to tilt has always pushed people to troll him in the hope of seeing more entertainment. What the Oh my I was god. Going to do that, but now it's like way more awkward. It's so insane. But in the 2015 Aussie Millions Challenge, Daniel Cates clearly went too far. After losing for his tournament life with Kings Against Aces, he threw his whole chip stack across the table at Jeff Rossiter. Afterwards, he explained that Rossiter had needled him just the hand before and that he was also a bit agitated. He also admitted that his actions were a bit wild. When an online kid makes his first appearance on TV, he can be tempted to try and get the spotlight on him, especially when he is seated at the tables with a well-known figure in the game. That's exactly what Sean Deeb decided to do in a hand versus Mike the Mouth Matasau. The online tournament legend flopped quad fives and slow rolled Matasau. Yeah, right. Really? You should be like... Everybody at the table laughed except Mike Matisau, who didn't take it well at all. He told Deeb that he had never slow rolled in his life and that he will never do it. Several more angry words then followed. I don't give a I've never slow rolled a person in my life and I never will. I don't think. I think what is it? The most disgusting thing you can ever do. This is a good reminder that slow rolling is always an attempt to be funny that comes at the expense of someone else's pain. In 2008, Scotty Wen managed what nobody else had accomplished before him. 
after winning the WSOP main event in 1998, he won the prestigious 50k horse event at the World Series. It was his fifth bracelet and the victory should have been the one that crowned him as one of the best tournament players of all time. Instead of adulation and glory, he received only criticism for his behaviour during the event, in which he got drunk at the final table. At first, people found his non-stop talking amusing. I bet 100,000 with his hand, baby. <laughs> Rubbing it in. No, 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 no. Turn it over. Hall of Fame bluff. I told you, 21. <laughs> I thought we... Shit, I thought I played blackjack. God damn. But he then began crossing lines. While getting increasingly drunk, he insulted people and cursed. He steamed over and over. He drank beer after beer after beer and complained when they weren't coming fast enough. What the f cocktail, man? I mean, it's like, what's up with this, man? Play this table and wait forever? I told you he was thirsty. Enough is enough, man. I mean, we, we play this game, we wait for cocktail. Thank goodness he got a beer. Yep. His behavior shocked most of the players and commentators, and he was clearly breaking the WSOP rules. Scotty made a public apology for his drunken behavior during the event. In his apology, when explained that the tournament was 14 hours long, and asked the fans to keep in mind that the edited version for television was only two hours long. He was inducted into the Poker Hall of Fame in 2013, but this 2008 episode followed him around, as people were still referring to the incident in wondering if he should have a place in the Hall of Fame. To keep Scotty when out of the Hall of Fame would be absurd, said Daniel Negreanu at the 2013 WSAP Europe. He had one day where he got drunk and acted like an idiot and apologised for it. If you need more table manner lessons, have a look at these five videos that have compiled in our article, Things You Shouldn't Do at the Poker Table. <laughs>